the stuff that you have to navigate, Tanya, and then you talk about it publicly, like this is what makes you the guide that you are, especially for women's cancers, especially for women's cancers that affect the uterus, the ovary, the vagina, the cervix, like all the things that people don't want to talk about yeah. that are so important. And the fact that you guide women along the journey, was there some, was there a point that you reached that, or what was the point you reached that made you go, wait, I want to help other women with this? When I realized that there were so many different people willing to help me, but I didn't know about it because I was never told, right? Like I had the meeting with the social worker and she's like, so what questions do you have? And I'm, you don't know what you don't know. So you can't ask what you don't need, what you, what you don't know about. So I didn't ask her any questions. That was the one visit I got. And I, I left there. I didn't know there were nonprofit organizations that uh, people volunteer to drive you to and from your appointments. Let me tell you, you are worse than a drunk driver driving to a radiation appointment. After a couple of weeks of radiation, you should not be operating mm -hmm. heavy you shouldn't be doing anything at all yeah. there are there are organizations that that help your your family visit you while you're in the hospital if they're from out of state uh, provide transportation and uh, um, hotels and food there there are i mean food stamps i ended up on food stamps and i i don't feel any kind of way about that because i Anybody who needs it is entitled to it. And the reason I ended up there is because it took the workers' comp, uh, not workers' comp, the disability four months to send me a check. My sister is an angel. Four months is, yeah, it's like, four months. what are you going to do in between? Well, my, my sister works overtime. She works 16-hour days. 